All right, everybody, welcome back. Another blade review for you. This time, the Spanish Falcata. This is a, another blade that I actually really like. It's a four curve blade. It's pretty heavy, but the handle is actually pretty awesome, as you can see. It has some specs on it, some up close looks, and of course, we'll do some cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, overall length of this blade is a little bit over 25 inches, so it's categorized more as a single handed short sword, really. Got a nice forward curve to it, more of like a hacking blade. Very similar, if not identical, in blade shape to a Copus. Um, you'll see some Filipino blades that also have a forward curve like this as well, uh, allowing for very fast initiation, but the actual recovery is faster with forward curves, so pretty badass. They're actually some of my favorite too, so I'm a little biased. So going into this as well, we'll put the scabbard down for a second. Overall length, 25 inches, 20 inch blade, all the way from the little bump right here, all the way to the very tip. You'll see the arc of it, that belly, almost like a kukri, not really. It's more like a copus than anything, more like a Greek sword. Um, as far as I know, they did have some influence on that too. So, looking at this as well, it's, it's heavy. I mean, it's, it's two pounds, 14 ounces, so don't think this thing is something you're gonna be able to whip around. It still requires some, some mechanics, still requires you to actually know what you're doing with the blade and everything. Using it for reenactment, you don't have to worry about that. Just enjoy the blade, enjoy the aesthetics and all that. I just put that in because a lot of the people who buy from us also do cut testing. I'm also looking at this, it's a high carbon steel blade, of course. They always use high carbon steel. Got some accents on the blade, little lines taking some excess weight out. The spine's pretty thick on it. There's no peen really, it's just that it's injected into the handle. Kind of hard to see without pointing the tip at you you'll see that the actual tang goes into the handle. The handle's actually really badass to be honest with you. It's a really, really solid handle. This is way easier to see it that way. So it slides right into it. One thing I would actually prefer is that, see how the pinky is a little bit thinner on that? I actually don't personally like that as much as if this was the same size and this bump, this divot right here was a little bit less, right? So it was a little bit more custom like that so that the hand is actually filled out with the handle rather than me having to think about closing my grip. I can just wrap it around the handle. So um, that's just me being picky because I get to see a bunch of stuff from all over the world. So just my opinion on it. Comes with a scabbard, very simple scabbard. Um, I don't know why the scabbards have to be super intricate anyway, but double stitched, it's opening on the back. You can actually loop this through as well if you'd like. And when you're sliding this in, be very careful because your knuckle line is on it. I actually just usually slide it in. That way I can do that. But you can see, you can notch these together. It's still set up where you could draw it. I'm definitely not gonna speed draw this because that would be really dumb. But it comes out nice and smooth. The inside is just like a smooth piece of leather. It's just two pieces of leather and some brass circles. <laughs> That's all it really is, to be honest with you. It just, ma it just happens to match the scabbard. Let's just, let's be real here. From here, let's go ahead and take some close-up looks at it, some specs, and then we'll pan the cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, let's pan the cut testing and see what this Spanish falcata can do. Let's get to it. Oh. Dude, that thing cut really well. This thing's heavy too, this thing's like over two pounds. It's got a solid forward curve to it and uh, Mark uh, sharpened it really well. All right, so there you have it, the Spanish Falcato. We take a look at some specs on it, 
up close looks at this really, really awesome handle. Blade did really well, it's super heavy, but nice durable blade. If you like this blade, go ahead and comment below what you like about it, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will talk to you soon in the next video.